All right, so welcome back to the to the series. Uh, I have made this video like five times by now. Uh, each time I found something else I could change. And so let's start. Uh, as you can see here at the top, I did another. I did two calculations uh, in in total. One of them is 250 liters per hour, and the other one is the original, the original 1,000 liters per sec uh, per hour, because uh, there's sort of a systematic problem. Uh, we are we are analyzing one of the of the system, and this uh, when we are injecting water, when we tell this the the computer water is going in at this speed. Uh, it's it creates one problem that is the the reservoir that we have right now is infinite there's an infinite amount of water that comes in at uh, 25 uh, degrees celsius which means if we take this one for example uh, the fluid temperature at 1000 liter per hour uh, there's there's almost no temperature change that's that's probably good like you can see a bit this is a bit lighter if we if we take this 300 here and move it to 297 maybe or 295 barely barely like you can see a bit here some heat is getting uh, convected. Is that a word? Let me know if it's a word. But yeah, uh, I can I can show I will showcase the two hundred fifty liters per hour because then we can see a bit of let's say the interesting things. Uh, if you look at velocity here at one thousand liters, good. So velocity profile, and uh, this makes sense. You go in at a certain, like, what is it? Around five meters per second in the middle. And you know what the velocity profile looks like normally. And it's the fastest in the middle and it's radial here. And then uh, for some reason it does this swirl, I'm guessing because gravity. And I wouldn't pay too much mind to it. Then as I said, I think I said this. I don't know. Anyway, uh, here we have a bit of a, of a spaghetti that we should address with with geometry changes. Uh, we do what we need to do, which is to go through all of these uh, little ribs to to take the heat away from from the solid, and we leave the system. Can I animate this? Yeah. Amazing. So cool. Yeah, the exit is a there's a little column of relatively high velocity, around six meters per second. Anyway, uh, these values are about what makes sense. Mm, like we had 50 meters per second in the previous one, which doesn't, it, no, it cannot be. Uh, it was just for bad uh, boundary conditions and bad initial conditions. And this one well, are initial conditions because it's not transient. Uh, but this this looks more like what you would like what your piece would experience if you had such a device or a or a block choco block cool now animation so as you can see we solved for static pressure temperature of the fluid mass of the fluid flow rate uh, velocity, wall temperature, heat transfer rate, 
static pressure, total pressure, dynamic pressure, and velocity. Uh, again, no. All right, good. So, uh, some things that you can data that you can present or uh, variables. First, let's. Uh, Needs to calculate a bit before showing, but you can show the mesh to see sort of what you have and oof, what you have and if it's uh, good enough. And you can see here refinement level, whatever that means, solid works. Oh yeah, near the near the ribs you have mixed cells and you have some uh, better density you see it better here and uh, so yeah you can do that uh, height or you can come here i did this on this cross section you can also see uh, you can almost see the tracing of the of the rib itself, like here, this is solid, this is mixed, this is, no, this is mixed, this is water, I think. Uh, yeah, good. Hide, if you go here to insert, you can choose your surface, let's say, can you choose a plane also? No, let's say we take this one, and, and then you can, plots a offset from the so you choose this one then you can also do an offset from a certain let's see and yeah you can let's do ooh, ooh, ooh. tolerance criteria curvature criteria and levels it doesn't care yeah so uh, that's cool so here you can see this is the fluid cells I think these are mixed mm. so yeah cool amazing now let's continue a cut plots these are cool so basically you cut your material and you can choose what you want to show for example heat flux in the front plane here you can choose an offset so you choose a you can choose a plane and then offset in make sure you see this is meters and you know don't be me and now this is um I still don't know what to make of this because as you can see there's very little heat flux and I'm trying to understand if it's because of the units which are in meter square or because I fucked up but if you want a more like we can take this down a bit to see uh, qualitative we can see that most like there's more heat flux happening here than for example on these sides where there are no ribs let's take this down even more uh, which i would expect like the the sides should have almost no heat flux because we also didn't do any radiation or like natural convection and things like that and uh, so that's another thing you can do uh, the cut plot itself doesn't cut your your geometry so you have to add that uh, for example you can also do you can also add let's say temperature of the fluid uh, yeah and it also chooses on its own where the fluid is like it knows if it's fluid or a solid because you defined the subdomain so yeah you can see like we are injecting water at uh, 25 celsius and there's very little a uh, heat heat gradient happening and uh, this is sort of concerning 
but we're gonna jump to the 250 liters and here you can see it's already it, it has a bit of, of a better gradient and like if we look at this one looks a bit better although i sort of boomered the the plot itself what else do we what is this one temperature of the fluid yes okay you can also do surface plots this one was heat flux in the y direction because you know this would be interesting to know uh, but again most of the most of the flux as it seems happens here because there's more surface area so i, I would expect this it's just a bit weird or interesting that it, there's very little happening in the on the sides so that's maybe something to remember for the next uh, geo geometry we're going to do and so other things so yeah you can you can cut you can do a surface plot for whatever you solved for and if you solve for something and it's not there i learned you can go to add parameter gives you this list and then you can also add things like wall temperature we solve for wall temperature but it's not automatically there and let's do let's do wall temperature i i didn't manage to extract the wall temperature from this thing yet let's see if it works so, ah, i didn't change it okay yeah of course of course of course wall temperature yes failed to complete task failed successfully temperature of the solid hmm. let's see all right yeah um you can probably also do uh, you can do an offset or so yeah uh, that's another nice thing you can use to the particle study uh, wall conditions so you can choose your wall here okay mm. you can say you can tell the walls that they are uh, reflective ideally reflective and uh, they absorb and in, in injection you basically <coughs> you inject a material let's say water let's say 250 you can tell you can decide like uh, i inject at six meters per second and at uh, zero two eight divided by four initial particle temperature let's do absolute yeah okay let's and then run yeah okay okay silly me i sillied i am apologize all right so this is another way to show to show your data basically can i animate this there you go so yeah you can show this and uh, why is there more here and less here i wish i knew probably has to do more with and uh, the steady state hmm actually yeah okay they come in at a certain speed and then you can see them disappearing probably because it, it wants new ones let's stop this uh, Uh, it needs to have a certain amount of uh, particles and they don't leave at the same rate they come in therefore you will have more density in the, at the entrance than at the exit uh, but yeah you can you need to run it and it needs to calculate and tell, tell you that it failed successfully all right let's see show 
evaluating. Cool. It's only for the temperature. Okay. Anyway, uh, so you can you can fiddle around with that. You can also flow trajectories is what I usually like to use. Uh, you can choose whatever you solve for. Um, is there anything else that? Uh, so I think for the next iteration. Uh, no. So in parallel, I will try to to do to create a transient simulation of a closed loop. I don't know if it's possible. Uh, it will be super interesting though to do a closed loop like I need to model a radiator which is another video I guess uh, we have a radiator we have a pump and we have a reservoir the pump I can probably foresee that we're not gonna make like we're gonna maybe model a dummy is what we call it and I don't know, it will be interesting to see if we can have a set a set amount, like set amount of water, let's say a realistic loop has between, uh, I don't know, two and four liters, depending on how big it is, or maybe, I don't know, up to seven liters of water, and then have only that water as a closed system, uh, because, like, if we, if we have, as we have seen with the Temp fluid temperature. Let's say uh, each set of, of water, like amount, let's say a mass or a volume of water, it has a, a, a delta T of from probe, 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 here, whatever, like let's say two degrees delta, right? So uh, this is not over time, this is just, it just is. So after working for a long enough time, the water will reach a, an equilibrium temperature that is dependent on how good the radiator is or how well it co convects the, the, the heat. And we're going to assume the room temperature doesn't change. Although if you have been sitting next to a computer that is working hard, you will know that that's bullshit, basically, because the, the temperature does change. <laughs> And I'm going to do a little velocity arrows. Let's do the intro animation. Animate it. All right, so I really hope you are enjoying this series. Uh, let me know if you are. Let me know if, if you have suggestions, if you want to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see something uh, on my channel. And yeah, have a good one. See you in some other video.